Back during the NBA trade deadline, back on February 9th, the Dallas Mavericks shot the world by acquiring Kyrie Irving in a trade from the Brooklyn Nets. Now, fast forward to a month later, we're in March 9th, and this team already hasn't listened, lived up to expectations. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about why this new lethal Dallas Mavericks duel will not work. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Will. We're back and get it with another video. And there, I, I already knew how this duel was going to go. And it's playing out how literally a lot of people thought it was going to play out. But there's a few people, there's still a few analysts out there, there's still a few fans out there, still a few people that just don't know much knowledge of the game of basketball. Saying that the Dallas Mavericks would be a title contender since they acquired Kyrie Irving. False narrative. Now, how I'm going to explain how this deal was is not going to work, and how really the Dallas Mavericks going to they going to get they going they going to lose in the first round. Let's let's be honest. I'm going to, I'm going to go to the analytical world. I'm going to be like this analyst out, out there on the ESPN. I'm a, I'm going to pull the the analytics to how the Dallas Mavericks been performing since they acquired Kyrie Irving and really all year. First of all, since they acquired Kyrie Irving, they have a record of five and seven. Every game they they lost, they have gave up over 110 points. As you can see through the whole schedule since they acquired Kyrie Irving, all the games they played, every game has either been close or it's been a blowout. And every game they lost, they gave up 110, over 110 points. Now, let's also go to how the Dallas Mavericks, when they acquired Kyrie Irving, how they were until now they acquired Kyrie And now how they are. They were six in the Western Conference back on February 9th. Now, I know the Western Conference is all over the place. We got John Morant's situation with Memphis and everything happened with Memphis. We now got KD getting injured in warm-ups. I hope he comes back healthy. We still got LeBron James out for injury. Even though the Lakers look good and AD's playing well, Sacramento Kings are the second team in the West. Second seed. We're going to talk about Sacramento Kings in another video. The only team out there that's kind of pushing away with the West is the Denver Nuggets. So the West coverage is up in the air. But still, since the Dallas Mavericks acquired Kyrie Irving, they were a sit seat when they acquired them. They are now 34 and 33. They are eighth in the Western Conference. The Los Angeles Lakers are a game and a half back, y'all. The Dallas Mavericks last night, they lost to a, a scrum to New Orleans Pelicans team with a lot of injuries. Brandon Ingram got injured in the game, by, by the way. CJ McCollum just dropped him off by his damn self. So... Look, we all know the Dallas Mavericks requiring Kyrie Irving. Their defense is going to be even worse, which, you, which it is. But there's more factors to why this duel is not it. First of all, the Dallas Mavericks are 30th last in rebounding. Average of 39 rebounds per game. They are second to last in assists of a game. Assists in the game. Assists. With Luka Doncic almost really averaging a triple double. By the way, he's the second leading scorer in the NBA. Averaging 33 points, eight rebounds, eight assists. Kyrie Irving is averaging about five, six assists with 27 points. So you would think this team would be at least middle middle pack in assists per game as a team, right? No, it's only Kyrie and Luka passing the ball, and even they not even when they passing the ball is mostly on fast breaks. As you can see in games. This team, they stand around when Luka and Kyrie is showboating. They putting up numbers, but that's all they're doing. By the way, Christian Wood, 
What happened to you, bro? You was you was you still nice. You still a nice player. You need to do more. As I can see on this on this calendar right here, on these stat sheets, Christian Wood is not even a top twenty rebounder. Isn't he the center of this team, or at least the power forward? And Jason K, I don't know why you're not making the decision to start JaVel McGee. Christian Wood is 30. Where's Christian Wood at, ladies and gentlemen? Because Christian Wood is around 30 to 30 second in rebounding per game. That is awful. He's averaging around 7.7 .7 rebounds a game. You need to do better. That's why y'all are the last in rebounding. It's not just about defense. The defense is already killing for y'all. If y'all can't rebound, who's going to... Who y'all going to beat in the playoffs? Y'all damn sure ain't going to beat Jokic in the Denver Nuggets. And another factor. We got Luka. We got Kyrie. Two one of the best scorers in the game. Tim Hardaway, who's just a spot-up shooter, does really nothing else, let's be honest. And Christian Wood. Who else do y'all have? Y'all keep talking about the Phoenix Suns' death. The Phoenix Suns have no death. Have no death. But they got a healthy KD and a healthy Devin Booker and a healthy CP3 with DeAndre Ayton. They will go far. Dallas. Y'all don't even have a 3 and D player. Tim Hardaway defends when he wants to. Who else do y'all have on y'all? Who's on y'all bench? Who's really Davis Bertans? Y'all still got him that large that large contract he has. Jaden Hardy, who's a he, he can be a sorry old player coming in the league. Josh Green he still hasn't developed to be what he needs to be. Who else do y'all have on this team? You want to talk about depth? Y'all don't even have another another three D player. I won't even say star. Y'all need a star. Y'all need a number not a formal player that can help out Luca and Kyrie. It's literally Luca and Kyrie just showboating and just putting up numbers and and doing step back threes and doing flashy layups all game. There ain't nothing else to this team. Dallas, y'all are digging yourself in a hole because Kyrie Irving is going to be a free agent. I do not believe Kyrie Irving is going to stay there. If he does, y'all better make some decisions. Obviously, get some, get a, get a big time center, get some powerful, get a three D player. Tim Hardaway's fine, but I feel like y'all need to trade away Tim Hardaway because he make he's making this team stagnant. Y'all are the most one of the most stagnant teams in the NBA. And that's why I believe y'all will be a first round exit. If y'all get past the first round, I don't believe y'all gonna get past the second round. Y'all don't have a, a 500 record with since Kyrie came to the scene. Y'all are five and seven, and the losses y'all lost to are all close games. You would think Luka and Kyrie would close it out, right? Well. Since this, is much, since this is a lot of standing around, that's not the case. Dallas. This is it for y'all this year. We're going to see how far y'all get. Again, y'all face Denver, y'all going to get knocked out first round. If y'all face Sacramento, that would be a great series. Sacramento looks good. And more vulnerable. And they got more of a team. Y'all don't have a whole team. Y'all just got Luka, Kyrie, and Christian Wood. And Christian Wood is the most inconsistent this year. I don't know, y'all. Comment down below how y'all how y'all feel about this Dallas Mavericks team. Comment down below if y'all believe this team can actually get make a, make a push in the playoffs. And if y'all been enjoying my videos, give your ball a like. And also, follow my Instagram. Follow my basketball page, Instagram, Surreal Basketball Tapes. Follow more daily NBA, NBA content. 
And follow my main Instagram, uh, underscore Will Trill. And subscribe to the channel if y'all new. I'll drop in every week. If y'all love these commentary videos, I'm bringing it to y'all. I love y'all, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. It's been your boy Will, and I'm out.